Vladimir Putin was issued a bleak warning today about his country's war in Ukraine as footage emerged of a blistering Ukrainian ambush on a column of Russian tanks on Thursday. The devastating and precision strike artillery fire took out a Russian tank column moving through the east of Ukraine. The tank column was brutally ambushed, with at least one tank completely destroyed. Video released by the K-2 unit of the 54th Mechanized Brigade showed the attack blowing up Russian tanks one by one in Marinka, Donetsk. One close-up section of the footage shows a T-72B tank going up in flames as smoke billows out after an artillery strike. Ukraine Weapons Tracker, which monitors battlefronts in the war, tweeted, The K-2 unit of the 54th Mechanized Brigade used accurate artillery fire to hit a Russian T-72B pattern tank in Marinka, Donetsk Oblast. A tongue-in-cheek statement from the K-2 unit mockingly called the Russian invaders uninvited tourists. It read, We continue to show you another voyage of uninvited tourists wandering the deserted streets on the outskirts of Marinka, Donetsk region. A navigator of nearby tourists took heavy forbidden cars to the narrow streets of the town, where the guys from the K-2 reconnaissance group, with the help of other famous workers, carried out scheduled repairs. The ambush comes as the war in Ukraine enters its 100th day. The UK Ministry of Defense's latest intelligence report revealed that, while Russia was advancing in Donbass and Luhansk, none of the strategic objectives have been achieved. The mod warned, for Russia to achieve any form of success will require a continued huge investment of manpower and equipment, and is likely to take considerable further time. It added that Russia could take complete control of Luhansk within the next two weeks. Reflecting on the grim milestone of 100 days, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg warned that Ukraine's allies needed to brace for a grueling war of attrition ahead. Speaking in the US, Mr. Stoltenberg said, we just have to be prepared for the long haul. Overnight, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky admitted that Russian forces are occupying about 20% of Ukraine's territory. He said that 100 Ukrainians are dying on a daily basis in eastern Ukraine, and another 450 to 500 people are wounded. However, he claimed that Ukraine had achieved some success in the key battleground of Severodonetsk. <laughs>